Hey, it's Rachel from Hope Corner Farm. By day, I'm a home ec teacher who teaches hundreds of students how to crochet, quilt, sew, and cook. And today, I'm going to give you a short tutorial on how to complete the herringbone half double crochet stitch. So this crochet stitch gives a nice little bit of texture to the half double crochet stitch. So in this little swatch here, you can see I've got the herringbone half double crochet. And then you can compare it to the regular half double crochet in this swatch. Just a slight difference, but it adds just kind of a nice little extra textural detail to this stitch. So let's gather our supplies and let's get going. All right, so I've got a row of 10 stitches here that we're going to place some herringbone half double crochets into. So I've chained one and I'm ready to go because I've turned. So now I'm going to simply start this herringbone half double crochet by yarning over. So it's a move where I go down and around and up. Okay, so now I've yarned over. Now I'm going to go into this very first space here. I'm going to come through. I'm going to come up, grab onto that yarn. So yarning over. I'm going to pull through the space. Now I've got three loops on my hook. Well, I'm going to take this loop here that's in the nook of the hook here, and I'm simply going to pull that loop through this middle loop till I now have two loops on my hook. Now I'm going to yarn over and pull through both loops. That completes one herringbone half double crochet. So again, I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to come into this space. I'm going to yarn over, pull through the space, and then pull through that middle loop. Now I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to complete the stitch. So there is two herringbone half double crochets. By pulling through that middle loop, that's what gives us this little extra detail that the herringbone half double crochet has. So again, we'll do another one. We're going to yarn over. We're going to go into this space right here. We're going to yarn over, pull through the space. We're going to continue, pull through that middle loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. So we're going to continue across this row with the herringbone half double crochet. So yarn into the space, yarn over, pull through, pull through the middle loop, yarn over again, pull through bo both loops. Okay, yarn over. We're going to go into the space. We're going to yarn over, pull through the space. Now I've got three loops on my hook. I'm going to pull through that middle loop. Now I'm going to yarn over, pull through both loops. I'm going to continue this and that is exactly how we complete the herringbone half double crochet. It really is pretty close to a regular half double crochet. I'm going to show you a regular one here just so you can see the difference. So a regular half double crochet, we yarn over, we go into the space, we yarn over, pull through the space, then I have three, then I would yarn over here and pull through all three to complete, whoops, pull through all three to complete a regular half double crochet. So again, a regular half double crochet, yarn over into the space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. So hopefully you can see just that slight difference here with the herringbone half double crochet. We get this little extra bump here by pulling through that middle loop, whereas here we don't get that extra bump, okay? So again, I'll show you the herringbone half double crochet a couple more times here and then we'll be done. So. We're going to yarn over, we're going to go into this space, we're going to yarn over, pull through the space, continue and pull through that middle loop, yarn over and pull through those two. So we're just going to continue on across this row and that is how simple a herringbone half double crochet is. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notifications for every time I post new videos. I hope you guys have a blessed day.